Welcome. In this series of videos, we're showing how Log10 Pro supports you through your whole aviation career. In this second video, we'll look at many of the features designed specifically for certified flight instructors. Feel free to jump between chapters using the links in the video description below. If you already have existing flight data, whether paper or electronic, our support team will import digital logbooks like ForeFlight. Or if you're still using paper logbooks, we'll help you set up a balance forward for free. Now let's begin by setting your typical role to instructor. Tap Menu, Settings, My Logbook, Typical Role, then choose Instructor. This will pre-configure most of the fields you'll need as an instructor. If you've made customizations to Log10, changing your typical role will adjust the visible fields to match the defaults for that role. Your custom fields will be removed from view, but don't worry, we'll show you how to turn them back on later in the video. While we're here, you'll notice default pay rates. If you want to track your pay as a CFI, this is the place to do it. The values you enter here will be used as defaults for new flights. They won't apply to existing entries. Many instructors use the duty pay rate to track the entire session, including ground and flight time. If you earn or charge a higher rate for flight time, set a flight pay rate. This is added in addition to your duty pay when calculating total earnings. Next, let's go back and tap on time calculations. Here you can set allowances for pre and post flight time. In the duty time default section, set 45 minutes before scheduled out and 30 minutes after arrival. Now all flights with students will include this time in your logbook's duty section. To track billable hours and pay, make sure the duty section is visible in your logbook. Here's how to add it. Double tap the logbook tab, go to flights and duties, tap on any flight, tap the action button in the top right, tap configure fields, scroll down to the duty section, tap configure section and add duty rate, flight rate, off duty, on duty, total duty, and total earnings. Now when you enter flight and duty time, your earnings will be calculated automatically using the default rates you entered earlier. Back at the logbook dashboard, you'll have access to everything you need to keep track of your flying, certificates, export reports and graphs with over 100 to choose from, and create specific backups. But don't worry, backups are also automatic. Next, let's input our name so all reports come out correctly. Tap People, then Self, update your name, and add any additional details, including a picture. You can also add your students here. Tap the plus button, enter their details, and turn on favorite. This keeps them at the top of the people's list in blue for quick access. Repeat this for each of your students. Now you're ready to log your first flight. On the Apple Watch, use the Fly Now feature. On Mac, just hit the plus button. On the iPhone or iPad, tap the new entry button anytime. There are also widgets to view upcoming flights, limits, currencies, and track goals. And if your flight school uses Flight Schedule Pro, you can add your flights from there. For more info and tutorials, check the description below. Let's walk through logging a flight manually. Double tap the logbook tab, choose flights and duties, then tap the plus button in the top right. At the top, you'll see entry type. Here you can choose different entry types like non-flying or simulator. Our full video on tracking simulator time is linked below. Want to track something specific or don't see a field? Tap the actions button in the top right, configure fields, configure section. From there, add the fields you need. In this example, we'll include Hobbs out and Hobbs in. You can also add custom fields. Let's add your aircraft. Tap aircraft ID, then the plus button to add a new aircraft. Enter the ID, tap type, all types, then search and select the aircraft from Log10's database. This ensures the correct category, class, and engine details are added so your totals are accurate. Add any additional details, set it as default to autofill for all new flights, or favorite to keep it at the top of the aircraft list. And yes, you can add a picture. If you have location services on, just tap Use and Log10 will autofill your departure airport. Tap the I to mark it as a default, or favorite if this is where you usually depart from. At engine start, tap now in the out field. At engine stop, tap now in the infield. Tap the use button in the to field and log 10 will calculate total time automatically, plus dual given and nighttime if it's after sunset. Now add yourself as instructor, add your student and any other relevant flight details. 
If your student uses Log10, you can sign and send the flight to them, and Log10 will automatically switch Dual Given to Dual Received for their logbook. To sign, tap the Actions button, Sign Flight, enter the details, and sign. The flight is now locked and can't be edited. Tap Actions again, then share via airdrop, message, or email the flight to your student. Done. Flight logged, signed, sealed, and delivered. Now, let's create a digital endorsement. For example, a first 90-day solo endorsement for Viper. Tap Logbook, Certificates, hit the plus button, enter the student's name, aircraft, any details, and an expiry date. Then tap the Actions button, load endorsement, choose Solo Flight First 90-Day Period, tap Apply. Then tap the Actions button, Sign, then tap Actions again to share it. You can also use endorsements to drive repeat business. In the Plan tab, you'll see all expiring endorsements, perfect for checking in and keeping students progressing toward their goals. Now that your students are set up, let's track instruction for each one using smart group filters. Tap the Analyze tab. At the top, you'll see flying summaries. For example, tap 28 days to get a snapshot of your flying, engine types, total time, and key logbook stats. Back on the main screen, you'll see existing smart groups, including ATP minimum tracking. Check the description for downloadable smart groups. To set up a smart group for a student, tap the plus button, then add smart group. Tap the group, then edit. Name it, leave in last, in next, show all, and display as total times set to defaults. Under criteria, tap configure. Category, crew, key, student, Operator is value, student name, go back and tap add criterion. Category time, key, dual given, operator greater than, value zero. Now you'll be tracking all instruction time with that student. You can use this smart group to offer additional training, like night or actual instrument time if the numbers are low. Repeat for each student then create a folder for all students. A full walkthrough on smart groups is linked below. Log10 reports can help you run your business. For example, the flight school report lets you export summaries for individuals or all students. To export a report, double tap logbook, tap reports, general, flight school report, tap configure report, set the filter group to your student's smart group, choose last month as the date range, and tap generate. You'll now have a report you can share electronically, or you can print it. You can even customize reports with your own logo or info. Details in the description. Log10 also includes the FAA 8710-1 summary report to track certificates and type rating progress. Just tap Reports, Experience, FAA 8710-1 Summary, tap Configure Report, and Generate. Looking to take the next steps in your aviation career and keep building time, Log10 makes it easy with built-in job matching right in the app. Just tap Menu, then Job Matches. Set up your profile and instantly see opportunities you're qualified for based on your real-time flight hours. That wraps up our overview of how Log10 supports certified flight instructors. Remember, students can use Log10 for iOS and Mac completely free until they've logged more than 50 hours. You can also join our Log10 referral program to earn rewards for students you refer. Link in the description. And of course, if you have any questions, our fantastic support team is here to help. Just tap menu, then contact support. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by tapping the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe so you never miss more tips to level up your aviation career. Or click one of these videos to keep watching now. Thanks for watching.